spanning two decades. Cafe Racer is definitely a uh, unique space in itself. And two locations. It's a safe space. This space will soon be gone. But that's not the end of Cafe Racer. Manager Chris Anderson preparing a Juneteenth barbecue. Just a week and a half before shutting down. Artists coming together. This is a Cafe Racer. Yo, come on, check this out. A special platform for artists to see their potential. It's been really cool to see it happen here. It's grown beyond what I could have envisioned it as. Artists like Ty Keenan give it an opportunity to shine. This venue allowed that to be um, tangible for a lot of artists. The Capitol Hill version of Cafe Racer opened in 2021 after years in the U District. In 2012, a gunman killed four people there. A series of closures and reopenings followed, even a sale, but they've been unable to agree to a new building lease. Definitely won't stop here. Cafe Racer is becoming a nonprofit to help underrepresented artists thrive through partnerships with other venues and promoters. So, yes, this space will soon be gone, but the work, Anderson says, is just getting started. This is just a building. The mission is uh, greater than the building itself. So the last day here at the venue will be June 30th. The organization does not have any plans to have a physical location, but will continue to maintain an online presence. Live in Capitol Hill, Jim Nelson, King 5 News.